In a previous video, we had set up the transcendental equation given here to solve to find the energies of the finite square well. So now let's figure out how to solve it. So what we're going to do is we're going to change variables, work with a different set of variables. So instead of working with L and K, um, let's put everything in terms of a new set of variables, Z, which is defined as L times A, and Z naught, which is defined quite strangely, I guess, um, but it'll make sense in a second, as A over H bar square root of 2M V naught. Remember, V naught is a positive number, even though the square well is negative, the depth of the square well is minus V naught. By the way, note that K, which was the square root of minus 2m e over h bar squared, can be written after some algebra as z naught squared over z squared all over a squared. That's inside the square root there. Um, so I'll, I encourage you to just check that, that that's true. Okay, and so our expression that we had above, the transcendental equation, L tangent of L a equal k. Let's just put an a on the right hand side or left hand side, a on the right hand side. So I've got these factors of z and I've got k times a. So I can rewrite this as z tangent of z is equal to now k a is z naught squared minus z squared all square rooted. If I divide by z on both sides I can write this as tangent of z is equal to z naught squared over z squared minus 1 all square rooted like that. So this is a transcendental equation. How do I solve it? Uh, well, first I need to realize that I can adjust z naught. Recall that z naught goes like something like the square root of v naught. And so I can pick different v naughts, which means picking different z naughts. Uh, and so the question that we have to answer is for a given depth of the potential well, which is controlled by z naught, uh, what values of z which is another way of saying what energies, so what values of C, Z solve this equation. And the way we're going to do that is we're going to plot both sides and look where both sides happen to be equal to each other. And so in this plot, I have tangent Z and then the square root. And I have Z naught, which I can adjust here. And I see right now I have one intersection right here. Uh, and so I have one energy bound state. As I increase the depth of the well, I gain another bound state. So again, the solutions are where the two curves intersect each other. And so I keep increasing Z naught. I have now three bound states. You can imagine I can keep going. As I increase the depth more and more, I gain even more bound states. Okay. I can decrease the depth, make a shallow well, but I always end up with one bound state down here, regardless of how shallow it is, as long as it's not shallow all the way to zero. So this is the idea of f solving this transcendental equation. We need to see where both sides of the equation are equal to each other. And quite generically, we'll do that numerically. Um, and so we'll just have to stare at this plot and find numerically the values where uh, these two equations happen to be equal to each other.